set. You're gonna hold it just like that. But basically, you can tell if you're holding it right, if you can just let it swing there in the crook of your hand. See how it's just swinging there? And you grab it and your hand just comes into position. You don't wanna squeeze too tight, but kind of like you're choking a snake, you know? And then my arrows for my bow are four fletch. See, they have four feathers on them. Yeah. You're gonna see arrows though that will have three feathers. And on those, the odd colored feather always gets knocked up. Gets knocked with the, the feather facing up. And to knock the arrow, you're gonna put it below. Mine has two points on it, two of these little beads. These are yeah. called knocking points. Uh -huh. um, those bows all have one because I didn't set them up. <laughs> you're gonna put it below the knocking point. Now you see I have this tab on my hand here. Okay, you can put it on your middle finger. You guys all have the same tab. On your right hand, on your right hand. Right hand. Okay, put it on like that because you're gonna, you know the Boy Scout sign? Like this, I'll, we'll, get, we'll get you one in a minute. Okay. It's gonna go on your finger because we shoot with three fingers below the arrow. So you guys see how my fingers are on the string here? Yeah. Yep three fingers below the arrow, you just kind of push up into it. And there's not much aiming involved with archery. You pretty much have to feel what I do. I bring my bow arm up. I let the point of the arrow rest for me a little bit below where I want it to hit. When you draw back, one smooth motion, none of this, none of that. And when you have what's called your anchor point. For me, my anchor point is when my middle finger hits my lip, corner of my lip, I release the arrow. I don't hold back, there's none of this you don't pull back and then hold it there. For me, it's just, you just let it go, okay? So you wanna do your anchor point the same every time. That means hit the same spot. It can be with whatever finger you want. For me, it's just my middle finger hits my lip. I release every time. Hits there, you just go, and you just kinda let your hand hang here, and you keep your bow up until the arrow hits the target. That's your follow through. Just like when you're shooting you know, your other guns, you don't boom and drop it. You boom, then you drop. So. This arrow will shoot better out of this bow, but these four fletch arrows, you just knock however you want. You can only knock it two ways. This is the knock, obviously. Knock goes below that bead, knocking point. Just take your three fingers under, hold these two literally back like that. Push up against it. You know, you get your tab so that your fingers don't get cut by the string. Just kind of stand and bring your arm up. I let it settle, pull back, hit anchor, release. See what else I got? Yeah, I can shoot. These arrows kind of suck out of this bowl, but you just shoot them again. So you just kind of, I adjust my tab all the time. You don't want your fingers to ever touch the string. Only the leather should touch the string. Kind of in your, your furthest most knuckle. This last knuckle should be wrapped around the string. You don't want it down here. You don't want it way out on the tips. You want it right in that last set of knuckles. Let the point rest below the, the, where you want to hit. Anchor, fire. I'll shoot one more and then we'll grab the arrows and see what we got going on. How do I even have the arrows? Like I said, I don't, a lot of these are just random arrows I use for just shooting at stumps in the woods and stuff. Um, no. So, same thing, you just do the same thing every time. Settle below the point where you want it to hit, tip the arrow, hold it up, draw back, hit your anchor, and you let it go. It's a shoot arrow. Um, other things to note, um, keeping the arrow on the rest. A lot of people have a problem where the arrow will flop off. To keep it on there, we'll, shoot it, we'll use one of my flu flus for that. I usually put up the finger flu. Flu. It's for shooting aerial. See the big oh. feathers, they break the arrow a lot better so it doesn't go as far. And um, I'll usually, I, it's called canting the bow. I don't shoot straight up like this. I cant my bow a little, tilt it a little to the right so the arrow stays on. Just pull back. Center like that. So we'll go grab my arrows. 